Hello guys, my name is Dr. Freeze and you know the rest. I figured out that 99% of you people are not subbed to the channel, so please hit that sub, hit that like, and comment down, hey, in the below. I got Patreon and a Cash App, please send me money. So anyway, in this form of topic, I'm going to be talking about Clownfish TV. If you guys don't know who Clownfish TV is, they are another um, geek culture um, people groups of people that literally finds like um, toxic things that people say on the internet and stuff like that but they're also like right-leaning as well now there's nothing wrong with that but as I said there's plenty of reasons why it's wrong among that you can figure out and see that they make these really crazy videos like um, Thundercats War being cancelled, um, the old original She-Ra is good, and the new She-Ra people need to just shut up and stop being triggered about it. And the list of the controversies goes on, even when the time when The Last of Us Part 2 was a huge, big, um, problematic. They, like, upload so much videos, more videos than any other fucking geek and culture youtuber actually been done it's fucking crazy now to be honest i hate geek and culture because it's toxic it's stupid and it's really much a whistleblowing terms to actually trick people like you can literally say that oh i fight for truth justice and liberty for all but then later on you don't fight for the truth you don't fight for the justice you don't fight for the liberty but don't worry you have people that actually agree with your whistleblowing terms knowing what you're doing is right knowing it is wrong they don't care about the geek culture they don't care about anything they just only care about money in their fucking pockets by causing so much hate and outrage among forms of communities and everything else by that matter. And it's really crazy to say the least among Clownfish TV right here. But this video is just going to focus on like <laughs> everything else money because they are like uploading like two three videos a day you can't keep up with this shit right here like like take a fucking break like seriously but you don't you just want the fucking money and leave because that's how much you care about but don't worry i'm probably going to do the same thing as well make people get pissed and upset while i can sit back while the fire is right behind me counting my fucking cash like seriously eight Eighteen thousand a month that you are literally getting paid for like seriously among you two happen have revenue like seriously my god but anyway but yeah this video is one of their latest one and it was just um unwoke job site launched the media hates it the reason why the media hates it, because, well, to be honest, let's get in a moment. Um, using their job to espouse their own political views. And a lot of times these jobs uh, turn out to be, you know, jobs in media, especially because it's a big platform. They're not there to help your company make money, a no. lot of them. And this isn't... Well, pretty much it's not about making money. Yes, it is true. A lot of the companies like Nickelodeon and other places is like using using like today's society terms like Black Lives Matter, or, uh, LGBT and all that other stuff to actually help saying, hey, we care about this form of community. Not 100%, yeah, but still. It, the company don't care that they make money or lose money. Companies only care about the profits, and that's it. Profits and the smile of a customer's face. Now, if the customers get pissed off, get mad, or anything else by that, let's say, um, cancel culture among Nikes, or, um, Gyro, Gyro, whatever they call it, um, support Trump, and everyone started to boycott, destroying products, and all the other stuff. 
pretty much companies don't really care that people are literally taking their products and destroying it. They don't care about that. They only care about the people who really do give a damn about their company. And that's it. They don't care about they losing money. They just only care about the smile of the customer's face and the people that really do care about the company and that's it. So pretty much if you have this capitalistic idea and that is to just shut up and make money, you are totally wrong because People have the right to their own opinion. I mean, you have the right to, to your own opinion by actually doing what you are doing right now. And that's fine with that. But literally saying that what they are doing is wrong, they're not going to make money, they just make things even worse, it seems a bit careless among your end. But anyway, let's continue. Everybody, I mean, we're not talking just like a left or right thing. I think that there are people even on the right that come into an organization and want to... You can be an activist either way. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's more so to the left, but you can be an activist. But you just admit yourself that this is not a left and right issue. And knowingly, this is a left and right issue because they're activists all over the place. You can be an activist. They can be an activist. Your audience are activists. People that agree or disagree with you are activists. Pretty much, we have a whole mindset of people that can be liberal activists. Now, can I consider myself an activist? Yeah, but I'm on my own terms. I don't support Black Lives Matter, but also don't support the whole blue lives or all lives matter as well because it seems a bit hypocritical among their fucking in. But it's pretty much the point is everyone is a fucking activist among their own points of views in terms of service. These days it does seem to be more on the left, but anyway. No, it's not more on the left, it's pretty much more on the right too. You just need to open up your eyes a little bit and stop sleeping. This being, there's a website that popped up called unwoke.hr and it got immediate, immediate pushback by Vice. Which oh, is <laughs> really interesting because Vice right now, they're in Hertzville. There are a lot of their people that are probably being laid off or going to be laid off, especially once yeah. the uh, PPP, the PP money, runs PPP. out. I call it the PPP. The PP, PP money. Yeah. Okay, stop making jokes and get serious. The PP money, once the PP money runs out, Vice is probably going to have another round of layoffs. They're doing very, very badly right now. So, of course, uh, of course, Vice goes out and attacks this job site. Now, let's take a look at this site. This is called Unwoke. Dot HR and whether or not you agree with their position isn't really the issue, or at least for me, the point of the video. It's the fact that, like Geeky was saying, more and more companies are starting to think, hey, maybe we shouldn't hire activists. Right. Pretty much you should, but they should not be in charge among pushing a political agenda among the company until the higher up say so. If the higher up says so, and that just proves the, their own ideas that hey, they want to care about this certain groups of people or this certain groups of people among the community as well. But the biggest problem is not only that you're refusing to hire activists, but it's a civil rights issue that you're refusing to hire people with a political issue. Let's say that um, you support Joe Biden or Donald Trump and you later on got yourself a job, but the boss hates you because you support let's say, either of those two guys. You're going to get yourself a very bad time, and then later on, you're not going to get yourself that actual job. But why you're not getting that job, it's because of your political opinion. That's it. So if you don't like activists, that's fine. That That's fine. That's your opinion. But among a civil rights issue, there is a fucking problem. Like, I will hire people even if I do have to end up disagreeing with them. I still have to hire people based on their skills and their creativities and whatnot. And what's interesting to me is they have higher thinkers, not activists. Higher courageous, free-thinking and freedom-loving individuals, not ideologues whose only agenda is to weaponize your brand and business to further a, ra a radical cause. And what we're 
So are you talking about the left or the right? And also, move your fucking hat. I can't even fucking see weaponize your brand, boy. We're seeing more and more is they, they want people that are actually going to go there and do their job and not spend their time on the internet trying to advocate for something or spend their time trying to, to spy on their co-workers to catch them in something because this type of people seem... Well, there's not that kinds of people in this world anymore, to be honest, but you saying that going online and actually, like, typing in the comments or actually be on Twitter or Facebook just giving them own brief opinions but you saying that oh we, we don't hire those kinds of people is like saying we don't hire people with opinions we don't hire people with thoughts we don't hire people that actually have a different forms of points of view you're just only hiring people that only agree among your standards your points of view and is literally creating like this form of structure to actually stopping people to think free willingly and just only hire a like thinkers not activists but a like thinkers and this is how far we gone through with this whole yin and yang issue free will versus um like will like you have to agree with every single thing that the person says disagree and you're going to get fired or you're just going to have a bad job, bad time at your job. And that's a big fucking issue, and you know that. To, to thrive on catching people in some, you know, perceived or real, you know, misstep of some kind. Sounds like a certain party that used to like to do that, that encourage you to narc on your friends. Yeah. Yeah, like the left or the right, but you just admit yourself, there's not a left and right issue. So... Pretty much, you just shot yourself in the foot there. You know the ones that ran a few a few decades ago. Yeah, so um, let's see what this says. For employers, uh, you can put your business name here. Uh, hire intellectually courageous individuals with the ability to think freely when others are not. 100% free. Unwoke is completely free. No contracts, no hidden fees, no strings attached. That doesn't sound very unwoke to me. That's capitalism, man. You yeah, that. well, that's what I do. But you're a capitalist yourselves. So what's the difference, boy? I don't like it. Anyway. Unlimited job posts, no limit on number of posts or, or period. Uh, posts are up until you're removed from you. Platform autonomy, all communication is sent to your email, so you'll never be tied into our platform. So basically, if this takes off, and again, this is just- It's a big if, though. It's a big if. If it takes off, you've effectively got a platform where companies can anonymously hire people that are not activists so you can have companies that maybe front facing are you know very yeah but companies will tell you what to do so pretty much they're activists themselves if they, if they tell you to uh do this support that um and everything else by that matter that's not thinking that's not thinkers that's still activism but telling you what to do as of the other way around to just say, hey, I'm just going to ignore your ideas. There's problems among the problems. And it's just literally stupid. They're, they're talking with the same points among the next 20 minutes. And it's just really stupid. So pretty much their work is literally the fucking same. The, all they do is just like talk for a very long time to actually help increase their own ad revenue and repeat the same points again and again and again and get really sickening and really annoying and actually trying to use like today's pop things or up most topics and just literally use it as an advantage to just say you know what this is a problem you should not like this because we say so and it looks really bad among their end. But if it makes them look good among their end, that's fine. That's the European, and I don't really mind it. But this is a problem with Clownfish TV. This is just really fucking stupid. Fucking laughable right here. And going off saying that, oh, um, fans are not toxic. Star Wars fans are not toxic. But also mean that software fans that like the uh, the force 
awakens and all the latest ones are toxic and it's just very very seems hypocritical because they're like one of those medias that just choose not to show you the cons among their fan base and it's really sad but anyway you like clownfish tv that's fine if you hate them that's fine but literally at the fucking end of the day they are literally doing the fucking same thing and just mind boggling stupid right here i'm dr freeze and you know the rest